By being a racing driver, you are under risk all the time. And by being a racing driver means you are racing with other people. And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver because we are competing. We are competing to win. And, and the main motivation to all of us is to compete for a victory. I believe if you are doing something like competing, like motor racing, you either do well or forget it. So even when I have some problems, I look always to the next race. Because maybe one race I have no chance, but next one or the next five will be good. That day, I suddenly realized that I was no longer driving it conscious. And I was in a different dimension. He never wanted to beat me, he wanted to be me, I think. He wanted to, to show the people that he was much stronger, much better. And that was his weakness. can only be one winner. He thinks that he can't, he can't kill himself. Because he believes in God and sin like this, so I think that's very dangerous. I was treated like a criminal. And this is totally unacceptable. I was just not ready to give up. As much as I was scared to continue, I was not ready to give up my aim, my target, my objective, my passion, my dream, my life. This is my life. I was fat many times by the system. I told myself, today is no way. How do you feel about being world champion? Not a bad feeling at all, is it? three times world champion, you're the fastest man in the world. Why don't you quit? He said, Sid, I can't quit. I shall have a lot more to learn as a man than a racing driver because my career could last not many years. My life hopefully will go still for a long time. Maybe I'm only at the half of my life. There is a lot to go, a lot to learn, a lot to do still in life.